Today, you are going to learn about Copernopsis atramentaria. C. atramentaria, commonly known as Tipler's Bane, is an edible mushroom that I frequently enjoy. But this mushroom contains the mycotoxin coprine, which temporarily inhibits your body's ability to metabolize alcohol. If you eat this mushroom and then ingest alcohol while coprine is still in your system, you're going to get nausea, vomiting, palpitations, and just don't mix the two. But if you still want to eat this mushroom, remember when you're foraging to look for the habitat and not the mushroom. Fortunately, this mushroom grows like everywhere, whether you're in urban areas or deciduous forests. C. atramentaria is a saprobe, which means it consumes dead wood. With that said, every time that I've ever found this mushroom, it looks like it's growing terrestrially because it's actually growing from dead buried wood. When I see this mushroom from afar, the quickest identifying feature is that it's growing in a big tight cluster where the caps are smushed against each other. The young cap is oval shaped with a grayish color that becomes darker as it ages. At a certain point, the cap begins to deliquesce, so the edges roll outwards and they become tattered while releasing this black gooey substance which essentially contains the spores. Let's you and me talk about lookalikes. Copernopsis variegata looks almost identical to this mushroom, but it has much larger scales covering the cap. Another lookalike is Copernellus micasius, the mica cap. The easiest way to differentiate these two is that mica caps have a golden yellowish cap color and Tipler's Bane has the gray color. But even when a mica cap becomes faded and can look grayish, it's still a much smaller mushroom than Tipler's Bane. But if you're going to eat a wild mushroom, triple check your mycology guide because you don't want to accidentally eat a deadly poisonous mushroom. If you just want to taste this mushroom, toss it in a frying pan with butter, onions, and garlic and fry it up. However, my preferred way to eat is to first go forward some stinging nettle, sochan, and dandelion flowers. All of these are early spring edibles that are usually found in the same area as C. atramentaria. Just toss everything into a frying pan with some extra virgin olive oil and a little bit of salt and fry it up until it gets crispy for a simple healthy meal that tastes amazing. There's a lot of odd mycotoxins in wild mushrooms. Pluteus americanus has the mycotoxin psilocybin and if you want to learn more about this very common mushroom check out my video here. Otherwise if you want to learn more about plants bugs, and mushrooms, check out some of my other videos because there's a lot of wild things that you can put in your mouth. 